Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Chairboy, and welcome back to Hikari Clover Rescue. Now let's get right back into it. Back to saving the Wafus. A few moments later. We have arrived. It seems that it seems that they have a kinda here. It seems that they have a kinda here. Security doesn't seem security doesn't seem very tight around here. We we don't have to get cocky, Keiko. We don't have to get cocky, Keiko. A single mistake could cost us the mission and our lives. We must create a distraction to ward off or neutralize the guards. Apparently they're <laughs> Apparently, there are only two guards outside, but how do you plan to do that? Hmm. Hmm. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> hmm. Who do you think you're talking to? I've already thought about that, idiot. It's rumored that this is that this faraway area was affected by an invasion of wild animals several years ago. I've created this. I, I've de sorry. I've created this device which can re reproduce several. I've created this device which can re re reproduce. <laughs> I've created this device which can reproduce several sounds perfectly, including roars of dangerous beings. It can also make sound of gunfire. It can also make a sound of sounds of gunfire and weapons of all kinds. We just have to we just have to leave it hidden in some bushes and done. Kasumi, Kasumi smiles at me. Do you really think that's gonna work? You, did, you don't cease to amaze me. You don't cease to amaze me, Wafu. Whoa! You don't cease to amaze me. Kasumi blushes. Yeah. It's not the time to. It's not the time to say those things, Keiko. Oh, okay, just watch and learn. Kasumi places all the connections on the device behind some bushes. All set. Aside for a few seconds and... Three, two, one... Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that sounds freaking scary! <laughs> and, and, you, and you didn't believe in me. But I did! Look, 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 look how the guards react. Come on, Keiko, let's hide. Let's hide. Uh, have you heard that too? Yes, what the hell was it? Probably one of those wild animals that they told us was around here. Lately, due to the lack of people around here, they have been invading the area. Okay, well, we should go and see what's up with those noises. You should stop it! Those were shots from a laser assault rifle! <laughs> It's getting closer and closer! I don't know about you, but I'm not planning to go there! What are you saying? It's our duty as guards to honor our uniforms and- <laughs> Kenshiro's right around the corner. <laughs> I think you're right, I think you're right. It'll be better to retire for a bit. I have a wife and children. And the payment of the corporation is not that good. It's not worth sacrificing ourselves over these damn businessmen. Okay, withdrawal! Withdrawal! The two guards run out in panic and leave the perimeter of the building clear. Uh, see, those simple guards were a piece of cake. Were a piece of cake. The corporation pays them miserably. Do you think they're going to sacrifice their skin for them? They make people from the br sir. They make people from the bunch work in such a dangerous places for such a couple of coins. Sir. They make people from the bunch, from the bunch work in such dangerous places for just a couple of coins. They're garbage. There's no time to lose, there's no time to lose, Keiko. Let's go. Alright, let's go. And we're here. A few minutes later, after entering the building, here, here we are. A beautiful girl with red hair and a military uniform appears behind the cells. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa! Akane is more beautiful than I expected. Oh, the waifu. Oh, perfect. Very good. <laughs> ram, 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 vibe right out there. You look good, Akane. We came for you, beautiful lady. <laughs> oh, man, these both sound great. We came for you, beautiful lady. You look good, Akane. Yeah. Mm, eh, hey, the one works. We came for you, beautiful lady. <laughs> Today is your lucky day. We came for you, beautiful lady. Keiko, that's no way to, that's no way to introduce ourselves. Akane, my name is Kasumi. He is Keiko. We came to res we came to rescue you. Rescue me? I don't know any of you, and I'm pretty sure you're not part of my squad. Why would you want to rescue me? I know, you're employees of the corporation! You want to confuse me to get information, right? <laughs> I already told you, it won't be easy at- it won't be easy at all. I survived things a thousand times worse than this. No, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. We've come to rescue you, for real. We're the good guys. We're the good guys, yeah! <laughs> Kago, she won't believe your worth if you say that. No girl will believe you if you say it all, if you say it like that. The blue-haired, the blue-haired girl is right. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. Give me a second. 
Kasumi begins to decipher what would seem to be the, what would seem to be the deactivation code of Akane's cell and its alarms. <clears throat> there. And so, bingo. Akane's cell, cell opens immediately. Huh? Are you testing me or what? No, no, no. We're serious. We need your help to fulfill our mission and save the planet. What the hell are you talking about? The clover amulet that you have there, the one on your arm. It's one of it's one of sorry, it's one of the keys to the power that the corporation wants to conquer everything. That's why they kidnapped you, but kept you alive. That's why they kidnapped you, but kept you alive. You and your clover have a connection, a power which only you can which you can activate sorry, a power which only you can activate and control. Exactly. We need to seal that power and use it on uh, use it to our use it on our advantage. Use it to our advantage, I think. Use it to our advantage. The future of the planet is at risk if they come to know how to use the hidden power of the elements of these amulets. Of these amulets. And the only way to avoid it is by having a good round of sit. <coughs> Kago! <laughs> Kago! Kago! <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes? Yes? Wait a minute. Don't be so. Wait a moment. Don't be so abrupt. The kind of still has to understand the situation here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll probably make it way worse. <laughs> I know it's hard to understand, believe us, but please. You have to do it. <laughs> it seems like a super acted sci-fi story. I don't have anything special. This amulet that I have neither does either. Sorry, this amulet that I have either does. And I won an I won an at an auction. Sorry, I won an at an auction. An auction? How did such an item come to an auction? Well, actually, it was a bet. What kind of bet? A bet where I beat my uncle. A bet where I beat my uncle when I was little. I've always been good with those kind of things. And as he didn't have the money to pay his debt, since we were in a very difficult economic situation, in a very difficult economic situation, he left me this amp amulet as compensation. He told me that it possessed the power of a very powerful element, and that one, that one day it might be useful for me. But he was kind. But he was a kind of crazy guy, so I didn't believe one word about it. An element? Then everything is true. Hmm, I assume your element is water, right? Is water, right? Ahem, no. <clears throat> Ahem, nope. What makes you think that? The blue color of your clover indicate, indicates it. Sorry. The blue color of your clover indicates it. It's pretty obvious. No, n no, not, not, not at all. And then could it be that your element is fire? The color of your hair, the color of your hair, the bullets and firearms you have. I'm sure your element is fire! No, you're still wrong. Whoa, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. According to my uncle, the element of my amulet is is wind. The element of my amulet is wind. Is wind. What? Nani? <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be green or something like that if its element is wind? Yeah. Hey, I didn't create it. I don't even know where it came from. Don't blame don't blame me for that. Honestly, I don't see anything special in it. But for some reason I've always taken it with me in all my battles and I've and I've done well enough. Ba battles? Hmm. He, you know, I'm an orphan since I was a little girl. My family was always very humble and hardworking. Shortly after I was born, a company affiliated with the corporation set up some businesses in my town, some business in my town, and left my loved ones. Sorry, and left my love, and left my loved ones and many other families without a job. Given this situation, my mother and father formed a resistance group to expel them from the area. Everything was going pretty good, even though we had our battles and our problems, of course. But at the end of each day, we seem to have a future ahead of us. Until... they strike us down. They? Do you mean... the corporation? Do you mean the corporation? Yes. I was just over 12 years old, but I'm sure it was them. They found out about all my parents' plans. The plans for my people to survive. One night they came to our shelter. Sorry. One night they came to our shelter, to our homes, and... Akane lowers her gaze a bit, her gaze a bit. Everything. They took everything. They destroyed everything. They... They killed everyone in the process. My parents. The leader of the, the leaders of the resistance were kidnapped first. Later on, I learned that those bastards tortured them to death to get some information. To get some information. To this day, I think I was the only one who managed to escape. Whoa. What a heartbreaking story. As an orphan, I obviously ended up in an orphanage. But like hell, that was the life I want. But like hell, that was the life I wanted. I wanted it to. I wanted it to have a meaning. I wanted to follow the path my parents started and couldn't finish. After a while, I managed to escape. I started to make some contacts, and a couple of years later, I managed to form my own squad of mercenaries. We managed to form a young and independent military force. Uh, we made. Sorry, we managed to get an operations center, armaments, and above all, one reason to live. They're like family to me. 
family that the corporation took from me. Uh, Akane, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, Kas don't be sorry, Kasumi. Hmm, now I understand your gorilla-like clothes. It looks hot on you, but... <laughs> What's up with them? <laughs> it looks hot on you, but... It definitely looks hot on you, but... Don't you think it's a little bit out of date? Those uniforms and arm armaments are almost useless nowadays, with so much digital technology available. Seems they didn't even bother to take them. Sorry, seemed like they didn't even bother to take them off you when they when they got you. When, sorry, when they got you here, they're practically useless. <coughs> sorry, let me do that one more time. Seems they didn't even bother to take them off from you when they got you here. When they got when they got you here, and they're pra they're practically useless. Don't say that. You see, where I grew where I grew up was always quite a poor lacking area with little supplies. We had to survive with what we had, and hey, Keigo, don't get too cocky there. Hey, Keiko, don't get too cocky there. Your ship and accessories are far from being last gen. Kasumi smiles. <laughs> are far from being last gen. Don't worry, Akane. <laughs> hey, my ship, my ship is not updated. It's vintage, you know. Until you appeared, I was working to upgrade it once and for all. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, idiot. You probably were thinking to spend all that money on girls and booze. Akane laughs a lot. <laughs> hmm. Now that I notice, you, you two took the trouble to come over here, but it's strange that there are no guards or elect electronics, sorry, electronic security anymore. Yep, we reduced the guards first. I guess we deactivated the security. Whoa, you seem to be well prepared for this. Okay, I may start to believe you in. Sorry. Okay, I may start to believe you a bit, but the strange thing is. Sorry, but the strange thing is. Sorry, excuse me. But the strange thing is that my squad hasn't come for me yet. <laughs> we don't know what could ha what could have happened to them, Akane. We don't know what could have happened to them, Akane. But if you come with us, maybe we can help you find them. Akane looks sad when she hears our words. They would never have surrendered to the corporation. I know they. I know they didn't abandon me. Abandon me. At the time they kidnapped me, the corporation came with full force. Our equipment and armaments were enough to survive and keep it up some time. But at the moment of the attack, with their latest generation weapons. We had several casualties. Then they took me. It's possible that they wanted to come here to. That, sorry, it's possible that they wanted to come here to rescue me and Akane. Come with us. We'll help you. You must come with us now. Now this. Come with us. We'll help you. Listen. I promise that if you come with us, we'll help you with everything you need. Akane blushes a little. Oh yes. Keigo. Keigo. Okay. Okay. I'll go with you. But you have to explain me a little more about these amulets with the de with the details. No, a little more about these amulets with the details. Sure, sure. We'll do it with pleasure as soon as we return to our ship, the CRS. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You do you whoa? Do you have a ship? Sure. Well, technically it's Kasumi's ship. Keigo, Keigo. We must return now. It's possible that the it's possible that the corporation is already aware of our movements. The security breach won't last longer. They may be sending reinforcements. There's no time. There's no time to lose. All right, let's go. Onward, onwards, onwards. Sorry. All right. A while later, on the spaceship. Woo! Woo! <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it, Akane. Make yourself comfortable. Starting today, it'll be your home. It'll be your home too. Akane stares at us with a smile. It seems that she's finally leaving her pride aside to believe in us, and we're closer and closer to have. <laughs> and we're closer and closer to have some good sit. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you have taken the trouble to rescue me and give me a temporary shelter. But please, I need more information about the Clovers and the mission. Oh, we're done. I'm so grateful that you've taken the trouble to rescue me and give me a temporary shelter. A shel temporary shelter. But please. I need more information about the Clovers and the mission, and about the Clovers and the mission, and the mission. There. I need to find my people as soon as possible. They are the only thing I have left. I want to know how to use the power within my amulet to destroy the to destroy the corporation, to destroy the corporation. Ahem. As for the clo as for the Clover, hmm. Akane. Yep. 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 Would you give Would you give us a minute alone with Keiko, please? Would you give us a minute alone with Keigo, please? Yes, yes, sure. <laughs> Kane, somewhat confused, walks away and begins to inspect every corner of the ship. She seems, ex she seems excited about that. 
Hey, when are you going to tell her what to do? Ne- when are you going to tell her what to do next? Hey, I wanted to tell her a while ago when you shut me. <laughs> hey, I wanted to tell her a while ago when you shut the hell. <laughs> you shut the hell me up. You shut me the hell up. But now it's different. But now it's different. We're already friends. So I'll be the one to tell Akane about the sex. <laughs> about the sex. Oh, the love making. Sure, sure. What do you think? A lady like me can't go telling those things to other girls. Hmm. Come on, Kago. There's no time to lose. Okay, okay. I'll do as you say. <laughs> Ahem. Akane. Tell me, Kago. Pay attention, please. To be able to transfer, seal, or use the wind element of your clover, and thus be able to use it in our favor, we must create a bond, a connection between us. Akane looks at me somewhat bewildered. That is, a link between your clover and mine. The multiple clover, which has the utility of storing and using the elements of others. And well, that can, that can only be achieved by having sex. <laughs> Baby making love. <laughs> Kasumi watches me very alarmed. Kasumi watches me very alarmed. Uh, uh-oh. After a few seconds of thinking, I kind of looks totally bewildered. Nani? What? Sex? You damn perverts! Did you, go, did you go to rescue me and brought me here just for that? No, it's not. No, no, it's not what you think. It's true, Akane. Sex between the two clover bears is the only way to activate their power. That's why they kept you safe and alive when they kidnapped you. They still don't know that the key is sex. But if we don't hurry, they could discover it, and, and it would be. They could discover it, and they. Sorry, they could discover it, and it would be too late. They could come directly to chase us, and. Uh, okay. Suppose I'll believe you both for now. Akane, what Kasumi says is true. What Kasumi says is true. It was pretty hard for me to understand it the first time, but Kasumi has dedicated her life to investigate this. And believe me, it totally works. <laughs> it totally works. It totally works. <laughs> Sorry. It totally works, baby. <laughs> Akane blushes a little. Very well. Very well. I think it would have been worse to stay in prison on that horrible cell. Besides, I haven't had contact with men aside from my squad for a long time. Okay, <laughs> like, like, what, just like, you know, just like, like gentle patting on the back and stuff? Uh, any physical? Therefore, you know, it's normal if I have some kind of desire. It's been a long time since I don't. Okay, 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 Akane, we understand. Okay, okay, Akane, we understand. Kasumi smiles. Good, great, glorious. All right, it's time to party. <laughs> Good, great, glorious! Good, great, glorious! <laughs> Kasumi looks at me in anger. Hey, hey, don't be like that it- Hey, don't be like that idiot! You have to take it more professionally. <laughs> you have to take it more professionally. This is a serious mission. Hmm, is that it? Or maybe, are you jealous, baby? Kasumi turns red again. Shut up, idiot! Shut up, idiot! <laughs> uh, Kane, please enter your room and wait there for Keiko. Yo. Sure. Alrighty then. <laughs> Listen, I've been researching Akane, and I figured out how to make the bond have the most chance of effectiveness. Huh? Why didn't you tell me that before? When you when you loved me when you did me before, you didn't mention that. Could it be that you were so <laughs> so sorry, you were so lost in desire that you didn't need to do they didn't need to do anything special? Hey, stop acting like a stu- hey, stop acting like a stupid idiot, and pay and pay attention to me. Kana doesn't have a proper carnal act with a man since a long time. That would make things more simple since she may be easier to excite. Only thing you have to do is let her take your own pace. So, only thing you have to do is let her take her own pace so, that she, so she doesn't get nervous. This is a girl of war, therefore she'll probably like to take the reins of the matter and control the situation. As if as if it were, as if it were a real battlefield. She on top would be the best option. If you do this, the most likely thing to happen. Sorry. The most likely thing to happen is that when climax approaches, your clovers will activa- activate without problems. Did you understand? Understood, Miss Kasumi. Right. I'll leave you alone. I'll go as far as I can so that you can do what, what you want. Now if you allow me. Now if you allow me. Duty awaits for me! G- good luck, idiot, idiot. And so I go upon entering Akane's room. Akane, are you ready? Can't wait to taste you, Akane! <laughs> I don't know, uh, let's, let's just be calm, let's be calm, I guess. Uh, what, wait, what? What did she want? Did she want us to be... Uh... She wanted us to take her own pace. Okay, take her own pace. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we'll be good, we'll be good. Akane, are you ready? Akane, are you ready? Sure, 
I'm always ready. I'm sure. I'm always ready for action. Akane starts taking my clothes off. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in what this one is. Can't wait to taste you, Akane. Lie down on bed now, and so, lie down on the bed, and you'll see what I'm made of. Yeah, the one works. Akane starts taking my clothes off. All right, so what happened next? I lie on the bed of the ship. Not the best bed I've seen, but it'll work. She strips off her clothes and accessories and climbs on top of me. Okay, now what should we do? Shall we have a good old game of Bradley? It's CG. Good show that day. Love it every 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 day. Love it Okay. A shiny blue light comes out. Oh uh, yeah, on my love. A shiny blue light comes out of her amulet and transfers into mine. Um, Kago, that was wonderful. I think we did it, Akane. You are incredible. Akane's moans cease little by little as I leave my last drop of the bones. Hey, are you finished? That's right. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Meanwhile, somewhere near the city. Boss! Boss! Oh, no. Boss! Boss! We have news. This is urgent. What? What the hell do you want now? What the hell do you want now? You're so annoying. I hope it's something really important this time. Besides, I told you to stop calling me boss. Besides, I told you to stop calling me boss. That sounds so old-fashioned. For you, I am... Em Empress Elizabeth. Understood? Hmm, Boss Elizabeth has always seemed... <coughs> hmm, Boss Elizabeth has always seemed... <coughs> now nah, I think a better voice to be. Uh, instead, I think I'm going for... Boss! Boss! Yeah, there. Boss! Boss! We have news! This is urgent! Yeah, that's my bet. Hmm, Boss Elizabeth has always seems to be angry and in a bad mood. But she looks so sexy. It doesn't matter me. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all to come and bring her all the news about the clover amulets. Although this time, they may not be so good. Ahem. Excuse me, Empress Elizabeth. El 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 Empress Elizabeth. Sorry. We've received recent information that one of the clovers has been stolen. They also took Akane, the girl who owns it. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a bad joke? How in the hell were the blue clover and Akane stolen? She was supposed to be guarded at all times while we experimented on her and her amulet on the cell. I'm sorry, but according to what we've been informed a few hours ago, but according to what we've been informed to a few hours ago, deja vu. A few hours ago? They took Akane hours ago, and you've come to inform me just now? Uh, I'm sorry again, Empress Elizabeth. Those responsible deactivated all the security of the building. During that time, with all the cameras and electronic security offline, there was no way to find out that... Enough of your cheap excuses. I can't leave you in charge for just a second. You always mess up. As I was saying, this group of rebels calls themselves Clover Rescue System, or CRS, as they clarified in a note they left. Oh, so that's what it stands for. <laughs> what? Do they even have the time to leave a note? <laughs> that's right, and it's signed by a, gal by a guy called Kago. Yeah, of course, I would sign it. Kago, baby. From Kago, with love, baby. The note also clarifies that he hopes that Kasumi won't find out he left that note, because... Because she could get ang very angry because it could put the operation in danger. Oh my god, <laughs> I just wrote all that. <laughs> so, Keigo and Kasumi. Mm -hmm. So, Keigo and Kasumi. Mm -hmm. So, Keigo and Kasumi. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> damn it, damn it. I'll have to make sure to find these insects as soon as possible. It's clear that any effort they make it to you. <clears throat> Sorry. It's clear that any effort they, they can make to you. It's clear that any effort they can make to interfere with my plans is absolutely useless, useless, useless! Muda, 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 muda! But meanwhile, you'll have to pay for the carelessness of you and your companions. You'll be my new little mascot for a while. Uh, Empress Elizabeth! But Empress Elizabeth, we have to make sure that... Silence! Silence! Kneel before me and obey! Uh, understood. I'll do as you say, my empress. <laughs> my empress. Like a man, I've watched something. My empress. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Upon leaving the room, Kasumi receives <laughs> receives it with a particular smile. Yeah, done it. We made it. All right, but that's all the time I got for this. And I'll go back one. There we go. 
That's all the time I got for this one, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for the support. You shared the last video, you know? It's really good. Thank you guys so much for everything you've watched. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this, please like below. If there's anything you'd like me to play or just want to talk, please comment down below as well. And if you like this and like to see more, please that subscribe button and the notification bells. That'd be epically appreciated of you. And as always, my name is Jerry Boy. My goal in life to make you guys smile. Oh, and sorry for if I, uh, the. Uh, Overload the mic with the yelling. I probably should have looked away when I was yelling. Sorry about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.